second segment. It is a fun Friday, and of course, we're about to have some fun. In with us, primary school uh, history competition. We've got the winners uh, here with us this morning. And we're anxious to talk to them to find out exactly what took place. Now, let's go with this one. On this corner, and I'm saying it like we're in boxing, huh? Darwin Robinson. Darwin is actually first, the first place winner from Salvation Army Primary School. We've got Anik Perdomo. Did I say the name correctly? Anik Perdomo, he's actually the second place winner from Ebenezer Methodist, school, Methodist Primary School. Aritza Sosa from St. Joseph. She was third place. Chelsea Eveling. Ah, Chelsea the waiter in there. No, no, no. But Melissa Kwan is actually in with us, and she's from Queen Square Primary School. And Chelsea. Guys, good morning. How are you feeling this morning? Everybody all right? Yes, sir. Mr. Robinson, you don't look like you feel all right. Are you okay, man? You all right? Yes. Welcome and good morning. Everybody watch. Look how they watch. I know. You, you don't <laughs> say good morning like that in your class, do you? No, I'm we don't sure. say it like that, right? Good morning. Mm -hmm. All right. A little <laughs> bit more life. We know it's early morning and uh, we want to say, first of all, congratulations to you guys. Big congratulations. Yeah, man. top four. All right, I want to get uh, more information, of course, about the history quiz itself. And since we have Chelsea here, tell us a bit about uh, the decision to initiate the quiz and uh, how you satisfied you are with the results. Um, this year was the second year that the Belize City House of Culture and, we, and Downtown Rejuvenation Project hosted the event. Okay. And um, it's a part of our, the project's goal is to bring back the Belizean culture. Mm -hmm. So we decided to have a competition for the primary school students but it's based in Belize City okay. so we contacted all the primary schools went through a series of registration meeting with the principals initially we had 24 schools registered mm -hmm. and the day before the competition we had 17 confirming okay so we had the zone 1 and zone 2 eliminations on the 19th and 20th and from the zone 1 and zone 2 the top three winners they advanced to the finals and this year we decided to have what we call the wild card school. Mm -hmm. So the two fourth places from zone one and zone two, their scores were compared and the one with the highest score went on to the finals and that was Mr. Darwin Robinson. Okay. He was the wild card school this year <laughs> and he came on top. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, what are the elements of the quiz uh, that you really wanted? Because there's the benefit in having a quiz is that you have young children studying information that you really would like them to uh, become more comfortable with. So what are the different elements that were introduced in a history quiz? Um, we had, well, we, it was a series of compiling the, the data, mm -hmm. and that took, that was a process on its own, but we decided to divide it into six categories. Okay. We had catastrophe, we had school and dates, government and culture, you guys could help me out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys still have it memorized? Oh. No. You don't remember? You don't remember? Yes. Events. And two more. But it was based on, from, based on history of downtown Belize City itself. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's not like a generalized Belizean yeah. history. It's focused on Belize City because of our project. And what differs uh, this year from last year, being that we, the first one was last year? And especially when it comes to the questions, because we've got a lot of history in this country. Um, well, to be honest, we used the same questions. Only about one or two of them were tweaked a bit. And um, well, we're hoping that when the project is finished, we're going to hand it over to Niche, and they're supposed to take it national. So a new set of questions will be developed, and it will be not only based on Belize City, but the different districts, and it'll be a countrywide event. But this year, not much was different except the tweaking of one or two questions, the introduction of the wild card. That was... One of the things that we're always told is to study. You always make sure that you study before you go to bed, study when you wake up, and try to get some studying in at any time possible. Now, for the amount of the, the duration that they had to study, how long was that? And okay, well, we started the process early. From they were in standard four, they were supposed to be selected. So in May, we handed out the study guide, the rules book, the, the handbook, mm -hmm. and then they were supposed to be selected in Standard 4. They have the entire summer vacation to study wow. so that when they're in Standard 5, they take, you know, they, that's when the competition itself 
So then they're supposed to have June, July, August, September. About five months <laughs> to study. <laughs> now let me ask uh, the students here, how did you decide to participate in the competition? I decided to participate in the competition because it teaches me about the past, about Belize City. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody else? John Finani. I decided to participate because I wanted to go in it and learn about more about the country. Mm. And for uh, Aritza? I decided to join in because I wanted to know more things about Belize and its history. Hmm. I wanted this to decide because I really wanted to know more about Belize's history okay. and things that I didn't know about. And I was really satisfied with all the 310 questions they gave us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you have to tell me, what was the most interesting thing you learned in studying for the quiz? Um, I think it's the school and dates. The school and yeah. dates? Tell me one of, one of the facts that you learned. Well, one of the facts that I learned was who was the um, director of the St. John's Birchman College and it was Reverend J Reverend Wallace J wait, sorry. Reverend William J. Wallace S. J. Okay, a Jesuit priest. So why was that so interesting to you? Because it tells me about the past. Okay. And let's hear from the rest of you. What was the most interesting thing you found out when you were studying for the quiz? For me it was catastrophes because in the first hurricane that they had, mm -hmm. it killed 2,000 people in Dangriga. Wow. wow. Which hurricane was that? 1931 hurricane. Okay. Wow. What else? You have two more left. I want to hear these interesting Your facts. most interesting, yeah. Pass it on to Anik. Mm -hmm. Tell us your category, your favorite category, and your favorite fact, or the most interesting fact that you learned. Well, geography history, uh -huh. because it says why was the national benefactors and he was there for uh, because of my Honorable George Price and Baron Bliss and all those um, national heroes. Okay. Well, um, my m in well, interesting fact was people and catastrophes like who was the first person to be buried in a Lord Ray Cemetery? Who was that? Elizabeth Morrison. <laughs> okay. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that at all. Was she was she somebody important at that time? Mm. Or just the first? Just the first. Okay. All right. Now what you learned in studying for the history quiz, is it the same thing you were learning at school? No. No. It wasn't the same thing. Yeah. Was it a lot of work to learn all this new information? Yes, it was a lot of work. Okay. And now, after, after learning all that uh, on, those, on, the, on that questionnaire, uh, do you talk to your friends about the history of Belize? Some of them, I taught them. They helped me how to study the word at school. Mm -hmm. all right. And tell me about how much you studied for the quiz. You did the entire five months? Who did the entire five months? Who studied for the entire five months? You did? All right. Sweet. Tell us how much time you spent studying and who helped you. Every, <coughs> every three hours I will study. Oh, wow. Um, my friends, my brother, or my mom. Okay. All right. And Anik? I would study the whole book. Mm -hmm. And then when I go to school in the afternoon, my teacher takes me up. So mm -hmm. you did you study during the summer? Sweet. You're sure you're playing video games? Study. <laughs> all right, Anik, all right. <laughs> what about you, Chelsea? Sorry, oh, we already got Chelsea. Melissa? No, it's Melissa and Chelsea. Yeah, what about you? No, actually, that's uh, Aritza. Mm -hmm. So, um, my f whole family and my friends helped me. Mm -hmm. And, like, we did, like, we wrote the numbers. And then we pick from one, one to 310, then we pick the numbers and then I take it out and then, like. Ah. So you had a strategy with your family? As the, you made it into a game? 
Yeah. Did you did you beat the rest of your family at the game? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And let's, you, yeah, let's let's break it down now. So uh, Darwin, you came out on top when they uh, when they mentioned that. Did you expect to be to, to to be first place? Did you expect it like, oh my God, I'm first? Did you expect it? No, I didn't expect it because when they were giving the sheet gun. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it when day I supposed to get it. I get it in September. Oh, so you had less time to study. Yes. Wow. But you still came out on top. Yeah. And you were, uh, what, what's the name of their school was the... Uh, the Wild the Card. The Wild Card. How do you feel to know that, you know what, your school was the Wild Card. Like, you guys, and then you guys came on top. How do you feel about that? I felt very proud because I thought I didn't want going to come in first. Wow. And then when you got to, you, you, you've been to school since you won? Yes. And what was that like for you? What did people say to you? All they said that they saw me on TV, that <laughs> they were proud of me, mm -hmm. and things like that. Your man, no. <laughs> well, we had Major Leanne John the other day, and he was very proud. He made sure to say uh, congratulations to you as well. Now, talk to us about uh, the prizes that were also a part of the competition as well. We know the schools and the children look forward to those prizes. Well, for the zone eliminations, all 17 contestants received a tablet just for participation. Whether wow. they topped it, they received a tablet. And for the finals, the top three schools, they all received a desktop computer fully loaded with virus um, softwares, Antivirus software, Microsoft Office. They received a multifunctional printer, a UPS, and um, the first prize received one thousand dollars gift certificate from Angela's Press, a laptop, a Samsung phone, tablet, a wow. multifunctional computer, and he also received a full bag filled with school supplies from the ambassador of Taiwan, mm -hmm. and the trophy. And then his school gets to keep the history cup. Sweet. Oh. And then second prize, he received a laptop multifunctional computer, $700 gift certificate to Angela's Press. And third prize, laptop multifunctional computer and $300 gift certificate to Angela's Press. And all the other contestants, they received a $100 gift certificate to Mirab. Mm. Wow. Now, Chelsea, tell us. Obviously, the spin-off of any school competition is being able to disseminate information into homes and classrooms that people wouldn't typically have access to. Um, what do you hope will be the difference in having these young children and their family and, and friends understand more about the history of Belize City? Well, for me, like what they said when they go home, you know, their friends, their family, help them to study. So in a way, they're also learning the information and Maybe one question stand out to like maybe a grandparent or a parent and they will elaborate more yeah. on it or like the questions that interest them, them the most. Hopefully that would inspire them to maybe research some more mm -hmm. because this year we also partnered with the Belize National Library Service and mm -hmm. Information Systems. So that's another way to boost the library service so that students know that they can also visit the library. They can yeah. research, borrow books, read mm -hmm. about the history. So hopefully the questions it's like a starting point for them that they will feel to continue. Yeah. All right. And I could imagine when the Hurricane Hattie questions came up, you had people in your family who told you about that hurricane? Yeah. Sounded pretty scary, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have a couple of the questions, and I'm going to test if you still remember them. So we'll see who wins here, All right? And we're going to go with... Because you know what? People at home won't know the answer anyway, so we'll be teaching them something new. Yes. So, unlike the Caribbean, where un enslaved persons labored in sugar plantations, what were the enslaved persons in Belize engaged in? Just answer. Any, anybody. Timber extraction. Timber extraction. What, what's timber? Yeah, kind of a tree. Yeah, kind <laughs> of a tree, yeah. And you know what kind of trees? Mahogany and Mahogany and logwood, wow. excellent. All right, let's try. Who were considered the first settlers at the mouth of the Belize River in 1638? Buccaneers. All right, <laughs> wow. see? One more. So one it wasn't more. just that, um, memorizing it only for the quiz. Go ahead. All right. 
So, who was awarded the Order of the National Hero? Uh, Post Thomas Lee. Oh, there you go. In 2008. Mm. Honorable, Honorable Philip Goldstone. These mm -hmm. kids. I, I, one more, man. One more because they're in their element. Who is the most recent Belizeans to have Belizean to have been appointed the uh, the Privy Council and therefore was bestowed the title of Right Honourable? Dean Barrow. All right. Dean Barrow. But what? what, what all right. One uh, more, please. I'm learning so much, so I, I just know. want to keep on asking you questions. Mm -hmm. um, in what currency were fines to be paid if anyone was found guilty of committing an offense under Burnaby's code? Jamaican currency. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Do you know what Burnaby's code is? No. All right. All right. That's not in the quiz. I was just asking, right? All right. So let's go with one more. Which treaty established Belize's southern and western boundaries? Anglo Guatemala Treaty. Yay! <laughs> These are some bright kids. All right, I like this one. On which street was the headquarters for the United Negro Improvement Association? On? There, you know, a lot of Belizeans <laughs> living in the city don't know that. Do right. you know what, what, what the house is called? Liberty Hall. There you Liberty are. Hall. Do you know what Liberty Hall looks like? Have you passed there to see it? No. Oh, I hope somebody makes you go by there. It's still there. Yeah. Oh, so here we go. Over which water body does the swing bridge span? Oh, my gosh. I swear. These girls are so excited. They want to shout it out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. When did Marcus Garvey visit Belize? <laughs> I thought we had them at this at that point. When were the streets ah. of Belize town first lit by electricity? April 28, 1906. See, you thought, so, and I know my the viewers at home are thinking, wow, we know. didn't know that. I didn't know quite a few of these as well. So you guys have learned so much about Belize City. I, do you want to do one more? Let's do one more. Um, name the general area where the twin towers for a radio station were set up. In 1914. He didn't wait till I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get to ask us a question and see if we'll remember. Oh, boy. All right, we'll see who will win. Who gets the first right answer out of me and John? Mm -hmm. Ask me a question. Um, when were the streets first lit by electricity? 1906. <laughs> Yeah. He just saw the answer. That's <laughs> cheating. That's cheating. Let's try another one. one. More. Give me an easy one, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm horrible at remembering history. Over which, over which water body does the Hallover Bridge span? The Hallover Bridge? It's the swing bridge over the Hallover Creek. What Hallover Creek? Creek. Hallover Creek is Yay, the Yay, I got that right. Hallover Creek is the answer. That one count? more. Let's go. One more. <laughs> one more. Let's go. Huh. What is Baron Blitz's full name? <laughs> Henry Edward. Henry Edward Victor Ernest Bliss. Or I get it, I get it wrong? Is there it was the one more wrong? name. Mixed up. It's mixed up. <laughs> Does that, is that half a point? Do we get anything okay, there? But, oh my gosh. <laughs> Ernest before Victor, right? Ernest before Victor. Oh. I mean, on the bird paper, it's, I mean, it's quite like that, but when we're talking, I like Baron Bliss instead, that's easier. <laughs> <laughs> you see how hard it is? We can't even answer them. So that's I'm, how smart you guys are definitely. to remember all of these things and how great it is that you've learned these new facts. What stands out for me uh, with you guys is actually the element that we put you in by asking the question. So we know for a fact that the history of Belize is what makes you guys happy, and that's a good thing. So mm -hmm. congratulations to all of you. I know, I want to read more to you find out yeah, more. But it's okay, it's okay. We're running out of time, so I oh, know that man. we have to, to start to wrap it up. But um, what happens now? So you've had the, we know the Downtown Reju Rejuvenation Project is, is not just the history quiz. There's a lot more taking place beyond that. Um, you said this is the second year, which means you're looking at an annual event. How do you try to get this type of information out to the rest of the public as well? Well, that's where the Ministry of Education comes in. Okay. We're hoping that between the Ministry of Education and NICH, when they take it over and make it a national event, that it will be included into the school curriculum so that way the students start to learn more about Belizean history from the primary school level and the high school level. Mm -hmm. So that's a task that 
maybe the Ministry of Education can okay can start to look at. All right. And uh, Chelsea, we didn't ask you any of the questions. Did you help to write them? You know all the answers? Well, when I was interning at Niche, I had to review some of them. So that means we can test you on one? No, we have the kids here. <laughs> Why would we do that? So who do you want to say thank you to at this time for helping you to get ready for the quiz and making you make it to the top, top four? Anybody. Anybody you want to shout out, yeah. say good morning to? You know, your parents are watching like, oh, that's my baby. Um, my mom, yeah. my brother, my teacher, and my friends. Excellent. Okay. All right. All my family and friends, um, St. Joseph, um, my teachers, and uh, everyone else, St. Right. Joseph. Mm -hmm. My mom, my dad, my school for giving me the paper, and my teacher who helped me. Excellent. Okay, what's your teacher's name? Miss Angela. Okay, Miss Angela. I want to thank my sister, my mom, my teacher, and my friends at school. Okay, which teacher helped you? My teacher in my class. No, what's, what's her name? name? Mr. Gonzalez. Mr. Gonzalez. And the name of the teachers that helped you guys? Um, my social studies teacher, Mrs. Guerra, and my homeroom teacher, Mr. Herrera. Mm -hmm. My social studies teacher and teacher, Ms. Avado. Okay. okay. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, parents, and even the friends who didn't harass you to play when you had to study, right? Video game, right? <laughs> All right, Chelsea. Well, thank you so much for bringing the kids in. This is such a wonderful initiative, and I believe that even uh, we as the hosts and the viewers have learned so much uh, in this segment alone. Congratulations once again, and uh, you're going to be superstars when you go back to school now because you're on TV again. Popular. And just before we leave, I'd like to say thank you for the sponsors because mm -hmm. without them, they wouldn't enjoy all those prizes. We have the Belize Tourism Board who sponsored us last year and this year. Excellent. Angela Express, GSCOM, Belize Electricity Limited, Belize Water Services, and Belize Premier Charters oh, and right. Tours. Excellent. Well, thank you all for coming in so early. We know you have to get off to school, so we appreciate it. And uh, now, we're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, we'll be talking about the Make-A-Wish Water Lantern Night. That's coming up after the break.